the passenger side ball joint and the idler arm were already bad. The brand new ones. Ow, right at the end. Can't see ya. I am really excited to tell you guys that the charger came here for a reason. I didn't just go out on a whim and say, hey, you need to go get the car. There's a reason it's here. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we are continuing to get the charger ready for our road trip to North Carolina. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out our previous videos uh, so you can get all caught up, uh, see where this thing's come from. We pulled this thing out of the field it's been some years now, but uh, since then we've brought her back to life. Um, you know, got it running again, got it driving again. We actually did a road trip from Wyoming to Oklahoma. We've had a lot of life changes lately and uh, needed to get the car back home. Brought it home and unfortunately, I kind of abandoned it again and it sat for another three years, something like that. Now it's time to bring it to North Carolina where we currently live and uh, it needs a lot of work. Guys, this should be hopefully the last video of serious work that this car needs. Uh, in the last video, we got a ton of stuff done, the front suspension, pretty much all the fluids, uh, redid some gauge work, um, a ton. We, it's been a busy, busy week. So uh, in this video, we are going to wrap everything up. I want to get the car back down on the ground. Uh, no alignment shops were able to get us in or could do it. So get it down on the ground. We are going to use the old string method trick and we are going to align it ourselves, uh, which should be interesting. And then uh, other than that, it's, I think get cooling in it and uh, you know maybe a couple little odds and ends, but should be good to go after that. So. Uh, it's early in the morning, but we have a long day ahead of us of getting this thing ready uh, and also getting the Camaro and the truck ready. So we'll see where the day takes us, but let's stop talking. Let's get to work. We're officially done, I think. Um, we haven't tested anything, but we got all the fluids topped off. Everything is looking great in that realm. Uh, brake fluid, coolant, oil, chain fluid, all of it looks great. Uh, the car looks great. It's a pretty sweet shot of it. Sheesh. Alignment went great. I actually think I got it pretty, pretty close for what I was doing with that string trick. Other than that, it's got coolant in it, oil, training fluid. Nothing's pouring out the bottom of it quite yet. The wheels are halfway straight. I think it's finally time to fire this thing up and then see if we're gonna make a huge mess or if we can pull it out the door. Hook up the battery and we'll get this thing fired up. Definitely need to make sure we actually have brakes. It's going to take a little bit for it to start because I put a new fuel filter on it.
All right, so it is the next day. Um, yesterday turned into a little bit of a crap show. We got the charger, as you guys saw, all put back together. Got coolant in it. Um, did our initial alignment, uh, went out and drove it. Couldn't get the temp gauge to work still. Uh, so I did a lot of reading on that. And basically, so there's, bas uh, there's a copper line that runs to your sending unit to the gauge. And I did not realize that within these copper lines, there is, it's some form of like liquid or gas that actually runs that gauge. Uh, don't really know the science behind it. Didn't know about it. I just saw a copper line. I was like, oh, I'll just tie it back together. <laughs> not how it works, supposedly. Um, but that's actually a good thing. It kind of explains my problem because I was super confused on why I thought it wasn't moving coolant. Uh, I had coolant, um, but the hoses didn't feel like it was moving coolant and it didn't look like in the radiator like it was, but the point is here is I looked online, found that out. So I actually went ahead and got a new gauge should match my old one. So that's good. Um, so we'll just do the easiest thing first. Um, hopefully that solves that problem. Hopefully it'll be good. Now the alignment sucked when I drove it. That's not super uncommon, especially when you're trying to align something like this, got it back in, did some more measurements. Uh, did it again, drove it, still sucked. I'm like, what is going on here? Um, it almost felt worse the second time. Uh, so got it inside, um, measured it again, and it was like super off from what I had said to that. So that was a little confusing. Put it up on a jack and the passenger side ball joint and the idler arm were already bad, the brand new ones. So that was a little frustrating, but the passenger side ball joint and technically the idle arm, the original ones were not bad on the car. Um, my mindset towards it was the driver's side was really bad and most everything else, um, like tie rod wise, uh, the tie rod ends was bad. So I was like, why wouldn't you just do it all? Do the idle arm, do both ball joints if you're doing one. Um, and call it good. So, but I also had the idea, you know, it's to not touch it because I know this is an old saying, but they really don't make stuff like they used to. And for a ball joint to go bad in 10 miles of driving it, if that is ridiculous. My fault, I went with the cheap stuff. Again, I'm trying to put this thing back together as cheap as possible just to get me to North Carolina because I plan on, I really, really want to switch all of it out. Uh, I, there's no concrete um, plans yet, but like I want this all to be changed very soon. My fault, I guess, uh, you know, I went with the cheap stuff and I'm, I paid for it. So I didn't feel like you guys needed to see all that process, me doing everything all over again. So um, I already went ahead and put the old ball joint back in, put the old idle alarm, idle alarm back in, and it is solid now. Like, it feels great. I want to throw this gauge in before I go drive it again. Um, and uh, hopefully, that will be the end of our issues. That's hot. Oh, that feels so good. This is why you do things right the first time. All right, guys. So we are in the charger. It is running great, driving great. Uh, we are actually in the process of going on its maiden voyage. So Bryce is flying into Oklahoma City, which is about an hour and a half drive from the house. Uh, so we're driving it all the way there to pick them up. If it makes this trip, then it's pretty much ready for North Carolina. So I'll have you guys on the ride with me. Um, hopefully all goes well. Uh, wish me luck and uh, we'll see you when we pick up Bryce.
Got us a radio back there, I see. Hell yeah, dude. Ready for a road trip? Let's go. All right, so we got Bryce here at the shop. It's actually the next day. We got the charger out, warmed up. Camaro is loaded. Got some sweet new stickers that my great sister made for us. We got Bryce. Bryce loaded everything himself. No, I take none of that. <laughs> that falls off, it's his problem. <laughs> We're all set up, ready to go. Next stop, Tennessee, because you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> A quick little road trip update for you guys. We're getting out of Oklahoma. Huh. Interesting. I guess we'll keep going. Alright guys, so we made it like 40 miles when the truck decided to throw a check engine light. So we are here in McAllister, Oklahoma. At an O'Reilly's, you can see the charger over there. Luckily, math uh, sensor code, so no big deal. Ran into O'Reilly's, got some uh, cleaner, and got it taken care of. We got a cop pulling up next to the charger, so hopefully he doesn't look at the tags because we're kind of out of date. Um, but uh, so far so good, other than this this uh, little code that popped up. But we got it all cleaned off, got it cleared, and. I think we're good to go now. Grab a couple snacks at this gas station. We're gonna get back on the road. She thick. Well, how's it going so far? Good. As long as we don't stop. As long as we don't stop. Been flipped. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what, do we fix it or what do we do? We did a good bump. I don't know if the shackle is going to last. Just jack it up and we should be able to flip it. You want to try? You got a jack? Yeah. Let's do it. This looks like a really bad idea. I think it is. This ain't going to work. <laughs> Super cool, or we are gonna get murdered. I don't know, man. 
this is quite the terrain for this car or the trailer. I hope we're going the right way because there ain't no turning around. Proceed to the route. I'm working on it. Well, we made Proceed it. Proceed to the route. I think. All right, it is the next day. We got the cars all warmed up. It is cold. Bryce, how we feeling? Not great. Not great. Not feeling great this morning. But we got most of the drive done yesterday. Got about seven and a half hours left. Let's get these things to a gas station, check all the fluids and get the heck home. After a extremely long trip, ah, we freaking made it! The lights are on in the Camaro. The alarm was going off in the Camaro the whole time. How do you feel? Decent. I feel terrible. Alright guys, so we are officially back home. We made it. We made it to North Carolina. Uh, it is actually the next day today. Um, obviously super long road trip so once we got home we pretty much crashed but guys that is going to be a wrap for this video uh and also this series the road trip is complete the chargers back here in north carolina got the camaro back here the truck everything made it uh and you know all things considered didn't want to jinx us but uh really no big crazy problems we had the shackle problem on the trailer all we took is a jack, jacked that sucker up, popped her back into place. A little sketch, but not a big deal. And then we have the, had the code on the truck uh, through a little bit of a map sensor code. Cleaned her off, put her back in. She was good to roll. So other than that, the Charger trucked it. This unit, Mr. Reliable over here, did great. After sitting for all that time, uh, she did not skip a beat at all. If anything, it was the least problematic thing that on the trip. So it was actually somewhat of a comfortable ride also. So super happy about that too. That is going to be a wrap for the video. I'm going to be a wrap for the series. And uh, I am really excited to tell you guys that the Charger came here for a reason. I didn't just go out on a whim and say, hey, you need to go get the car. There's a reason it's here. And I'm really excited to show you guys. We have a super exciting a uh, new series coming to the channel. So guys, stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to leave all your comments down below, what you guys thought about this series, what you guys thought about what we're doing with the Charger, what we did to the Charger, and what you think we should do with the Charger. Uh, I'm also curious to know your thoughts on the Camaro. I know you guys didn't get to see much of it, but trust me, it is coming. Also, make sure you go hit us up on Instagram. We post a lot of our initial stuff on Instagram, a lot of our first views. Uh, so make sure you go check that out. We also have a TikTok where we post all sorts of stuff. So I've really gotten into making videos, uh, putting out this content for you guys. So uh, if you have any interest, go check those out as well. 
But above all, super blessed, super grateful. And if, uh, if I'm going to leave you guys on anything, uh, make every day a good day. Uh, look up, give glory to the one that deserves it, and understand that a lot of these situations, a lot of these places you're standing, a person can only dream and hope for. It's a place that somebody else is working towards as hard as they can. So be kind, be grateful to the person next to you. Help when you can, even if they don't deserve it. Forgive when you can, even when they don't deserve it. These are all things that I'm battling with. And I'm uh, trying to learn. I'm trying to remember. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. And the most important thing about what we're doing here, about why we've been put here, is we all got purpose. We are all special in some type of way. God made us for a reason, for a purpose. Super grateful to be on this platform and to be talking to the few hundred people that enjoy watching our stuff, enjoy watching our car builds. But guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Again, super grateful, super appreciative of you guys, all the support. Leave your comments down below and we will see you next time.